Halabya Kurdish, he is a city in Iraqi Kurdistan and the capital of Halabya Governorate, located about 240 km miles northeast of Baghdad and 14 km 9 miles from the Iranian border. The city lies at the base of what is often referred to as the Greater Huraman region stretching across the Iran-Iraq border. Halabya is surrounded by Horayman and Shnrwe Range in the northeast, Balambo Range in the south and Sirwan River in the west. The Kurds in the city of Halabya generally speak only the Sirani dialect of Kurdish, but some residents of the surrounding villages speak the Hurami dialect. History Early history Halabya has a long history, as proven by excavations at nearby archaeological sites like Bakarawa. The cemetery includes the tombs of several historical figures, such as Ahmed Mukhtar Jaff, Taya Bag Jaff and Adila Khanim. In August 2009, three 17th century tombs were discovered in the Abaybil district of the town. This suggests that the town is somewhat older than indicated by some sources, which claim that it was built by the Ottoman Empire at about 1850. However, modern developments date from the early 20th century. The post office opened in 1924 and the first school opened the following year. The Kasari Pasha and Hamid Bag bazaars were built in 1932. Electricity did not reach the city until 1940. At the beginning of the 20th century, there were many British soldiers stationed in Halabya. During World War I, Adela Khanum saved the lives of several British soldiers, resulting in the British honouring her with the title Khan Bahada, Princess of the Brave. She was also responsible for the building of a new prison, setting up a court of justice, of which she was the first president and building a new bazaar. <laughs> Chemical attack The Kurdish Peshmerga guerrillas, supported by Iran, liberated Halabya in the final phase of the Iran–Iraq War. At 11 a.m., on March 16, 1988, after two days of conventional artillery attacks, Iraqi planes dropped gas canisters on the town. The town and surrounding district were attacked with bombs, artillery fire and chemical weapons, the last of which proved most devastating. At least 5,000 people died as an immediate result of the chemical attack and it is estimated that a further 7,000 people were injured or suffered long-term illness. Most of the victims of the attack on the town of Halabya were Kurdish civilians. The attack is believed to have included the nerve agents Taban, Sarin, and VX, as well as mustard gas. Though, according to the former senior CIA analyst Stephen C. Pelletier, Iraq did not have the nerve agent used in the attack but did have mustard gas, which was used in the Iran Iraq War. It is occasionally suggested that cyanide was also included among these chemical weapons, though this assertion has been cast into doubt, as cyanide is a natural byproduct of impure tabin. The attack on Halabya took place amidst the infamous Anval campaign, in which Saddam Hussein violently suppressed Kurdish revolts during the Iran-Iraq War. Before the war ended the Iraqis moved in on the ground and completely destroyed the town. In March 2010, the Iraqi High Criminal Court recognized the Halabya massacre as genocide. The decision was welcomed by the Kurdistan regional government. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Kurdish autonomy. In the mountains to the west of Halabya, a militant Islamist group, Ansar al-Islam, occupied a small enclave in the period of 2000 to 2003. The area was overrun by Peshmerga forces from the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan PUK, with U.S. air support, at the beginning of the 2003 invasion of Iraq. The town has remained a center of Islamism in the Kurdistan region, however, just before Kurds gained some autonomy over the Iraqi Kurdistan region in 1991, which included Halabya, a new town was set up where some former Kurdish refugees later relocated. 
The new town called Halabyataza or New Halabya today has an estimated 9000 homes. The Kurdistan Regional Government made some concentrated reconstruction efforts after 2003 in the old town and began rebuilding some of the bombed out homes in Halabya and paving new roads. A memorial was also constructed for the victims of the chemical attacks. However, residents of Halabya have complained about the continued lack of basic services and necessities. On the 2006 anniversary of the gas attack, violent demonstrations erupted in Halabya. An estimated 7,000 demonstrators protested against priorities in reconstruction, claiming that officials were not sincerely addressing the problems of the gas attack victims. Roadblocks were set up and the gas attack memorial museum was set afire. Police fired at protesters killing one 14-year-old boy and wounding many others. Topic: 2017 earthquake. On the 12th of November 2017 at 21:18 local time, an earthquake struck approximately 32 kilometers (20 miles) south-southwest of Halabya. Climate Halibia has a hot summer Mediterranean climate CSA with very hot summers and cool wet winters. Today In 2008, plans were announced to construct an international airport for the city. In June 2013, the Kurdistan Regional Government (KRG) recognized Halabya as a new governorate in the territory of Kurdistan region. On January 1, 2014, the Iraqi cabinet agreed to make Halabya the nation's 19th province. On the 13th of March 2014, Halabya was officially approved by the KRG as the fourth province in Kurdistan. See also Dujail Halibya poison gas attack Human rights in Saddam Hussein's Iraq Trial of Saddam Hussein